Hi everyone, uh, Sadler here. So uh, I wanted to show you the Zuno website. So up here in the top right uh, on the main page, there's a login button and there's a register button. So I went ahead and logged in and it brought me to this page. And uh, project managers, if you have not registered uh, with this site, then go ahead and do that. And you want to create a username and password that uh, all the members of your team can easily remember. And one suggestion would be to make sure your username like Team1 or Team2 and then some easy password. So once you're uh, brought to this page, uh, you can um, include information in my profile, but that's really more appropriate if you have like an individual web quest. So uh, this is for a team. So you go down here to my web quests and I want to view and update this web quest. So this is one web quest that I created. And uh, Zuno allows you to obviously make multiple web quests, but you're only going to be making one for your entire team. So uh, what's a little bit unusual about their website is that it, it offers a welcome page. And most web quests do not have a welcome page. It's just uh, the five sections that you see here. And the teacher page is certainly unusual as well because the, they're th assuming that the author of this web page or a web quest is a teacher. So I just grabbed a picture from my files and put it here and gave some basic information and uh, directed you to my original site. So uh, if you were to click on that, it's going to bring up my original web quest, which I definitely want you to go through. So and it has the five main sections that you can see here with a cheesy picture at the end. But I'm going to get rid of that. So the introduction is here. So I'm going to click on introduction and I edited this information this afternoon and added some uh, basic pictures and things. So it says, hello, your introduction needs to be simple and elegant. So you can certainly update content. You can put a nice image there. You can add resources. And the resources include anything from YouTube videos to pictures to web links. So the introduction is, uh, is very broad. So let me go to task briefly. Task is a section where you want to tell your web questers what you want them to do. <clears throat> so it's taking a little bit to load. So there we go. So here I am in Namibia uh, scarfing down some kind of meat or something, zebra, whatever. So I have a very simple task, but this is not fully developed. Uh, and you can read that uh, on your own. The task tells the web quester what they need to do. So the example that I have here is uh, you're going to be answering five questions. Uh, and those five questions you're going to find in the process page. So the task and the process person need to work together to uh, really iron out the details of task and process. So task is this is what you're going to be doing. And in the process, this basically tells them exactly how to do it. So here's my first question and here's my web link, which I just made up, you know. And uh, you don't have to have them answering questions. You can have them create a poster board, do an oral presentation, write a paper, make, make some kind of project. <clears throat> and this can be for their own classrooms. So really the sky is the limit when it comes to uh, what you want them to do. So again, I refer you to my original web page. Uh, so next we're going to go on to evaluation. So each one of these sections that I'm clicking on is going to be done by each individual team member including the project manager. So when the evaluation comes up, again, it's certainly not complete and you certainly don't have to emulate this. But uh, I wrote uh, each question is going to be worth five points and you get uh, five points for correct answer and two points for trying and you can earn up to 25 points. And it's interesting because I didn't notice this until after I had edited this page but they already give you a pre-filled type of grid where you can update this information in different categories and you can rate them. So like uh, maybe under rate one could be excellent, this can be good, this can be fair, this can be poor, and you can assign values to each one of these categories. So the last section is conclusion and conclusion wraps up the web quest uh, in a very fun and, and uh, you know, conclusive way. So here's my little monkeys <laughs> that I took a picture of when I went to um, China, I think it was. Um, and of course, you don't certainly, you don't have to do a, a teacher page and uh, you probably do want to do the welcome. So that can be decided up to the project manager. 
So all these other buttons, I kind of um, looked at them very briefly. You don't really have to go into any of the, this stuff. So you can add a new page to your web quest. You can add a quiz, a photo gallery, whatever you want to do. And um, so they're not really needed. Now, um, let me go back to the welcome page. <clears throat> Before you, now I'm actually in my author mode. So I'm in a mode where I can click on these buttons and I can change things. So when you click up here to preview mode and you hit continue, <clears throat> it's going to switch to preview mode. And this is uh, a mode where it cannot be edited. So you can click on these different buttons and you can see all the work that I've done. Uh, and this is a mode that you want to be in if you're going to, um, show people your web quest, your finished web quest. <clears throat> and I'm assuming that each one of these pages that I'm clicking on, I'm just kind of monitoring up here, uh, each of these uh, web addresses up here at the top change. So you see it says conclusion, and when I click on the introduction, it goes back to introduction. So each one of these web pages has its own web address. So if you wanted to direct them directly to the introduction section, just skipping the welcome, then you can copy and paste that into an email or whatever and send it to, to somebody. So anyway, uh, this is a very broad, uh, brief interview uh, overview of the, um, of the Zunal uh, website for creating your uh, own web quest. And here's the opening page where you can log in and register up here at the top. So this concludes this recording, and I thank you.